Good morning, the Carrick fan here. So, according to reports in Columbia, um, Hammers Rodriguez to Manchester United could be announced this weekend. Um, I'm, I'm a bit torn regarding this. He's not my number one choice, and it probably mean no Griezmann, unfortunately. He's my number one choice, Griezmann, but um, yeah, if he does come, I'll welcome him with open arms. And yeah, he's 25, proven, Champions League winner, and yeah, I. I, I I, I, I think he'll surprise a lot of people. He remind, I'm not compared to players, but it does remind me of Alexis Sanchez when he went to Arsenal. People call, call him a flop, a Barcelona reject, and look how he turned out to be. And um, yeah, if I must does come, which it look, looks like it's happening now, after um, Ladbrokes, a betting company in, in the UK, um, suspended betting on Hamas to Manchester United. When, when a I'm not. I'm not a bet betting expert on, on, on regarding this, but if a betting company um, suspends betting, it means it hap It usually happens. But uh, yeah, there's too much smoke without fire regarding this Hammers to United story, and yeah, um, am I happy about it? Yeah, of course I'm happy about when United sign a player or when if if and when it does happen. But I have a sneaky feeling this reminds me of Pedro. I don't know why. We got con const constantly. Constantly linked with Pedro. Was it summer 2015? We were gonna sign him, gonna sign him, gonna sign him, gonna sign him, and lo and behold, ironically enough, Jose Mourinho and Chelsea came came from behind and got Pedro from us. So yeah, um, at the time I I was a bit annoyed, but now I I I can laugh about it. But yeah, um, so Hamas a number ten. Hmm. Does that mean we're going to sign another, uh, a strike? I hope it does. Let's talk of Belotti. I think Griezmann could play there as well. Uh, I'm not going to comment on, on Belotti because I haven't seen much of him, but on Griezmann I've seen plenty, plenty, uh, enough, plenty of games for me to see that he's world class. He's best friends with Pogba, and yeah, he, he you've got Messi, Ronaldo, obviously the two two other. Greatest players of all time. Then you've got the next year of Griezmann, Pogba, Neymar, Bale, Hazard. Who else? Oh, shit. Not enough world class players. Bale, Griez Griezmann, Neymar, Hazard. Sorry, I put Sanchez there. I'm not going to put Ozil there because he's the big game bottler. Um, so, yeah, th those would be my like best players in the world. You can put Matt, not my keys. But Dybala there, you, you could put Higuaina out, put Higuaina, because he keeps us in chances, but yeah. So Bata Hamas, and, oh Griezmann, but, but Bata Hamas though, um, yeah, if it happens, then great, you'll get my support. He, if he wears the United shirt, you'll get my support, but what, I want, but what I want to hear from him is, like, if he really wa wants to join United, or is he using, using us to, for, for a stepping stone, that, that's what I'm not, that's what I, has annoyed me since Alex Ferguson uh, retired for the last couple of years. Um, like, players like Schweinsteiger, world class player in his prime, came to us past his prime. Like, uh, he was like, oh, United pay me a lot, lot of good money and wages. So that I'll go to them. I, I don't like that. Th that has to stop, and I hope Ed Woodward do does stop that. I've had to go at Ed Woodward over the last couple of years, but, and I mean, but, fair play to him. He's He's proven me wrong absolutely big time, and trust me, I had rants about was it was year, a year or two ago. I went ape shit. I meant ballistic, trust me. But, um, yeah, fair play to Edward with putting his money where his mouth is. He did, pro he did promise us he would get world class players, and he did to be fair. He's got Pogba, Slatan, he could put Mkhitaryan there, and by he was an unknown before he came to us. So yeah, Hamas, if it happens, good signing, but that would mean Matt, Matt are leaving, oh for fuck's sake, I hope now. I, I, will, I will be gutted if Matt leaves, because in a way he did help us win the FA Cup, he did score that equaliser against Crystal Palace. So fucking hell, ironically enough he'll be here on Sunday, fucking hell, dearie me already, bloody hell. Good God, a year on Sunday, a year on Sunday since we've won the FA Cup, bloody hell. But anyway, if I'm as comes, 
oh well, that's it then. You'll get my support, I'll back him. Right, to me at Carrick United, subscribe to my channel, Carrick Fan, comment below that video, adios.